I'm sure many of you have somewhere heard or read the term KDE, Genome, XFCE, LXDE, and wonder what these terms actually mean. Well, these are some of the popular desktop environments of Linux, and one of the many features that a Linux user can customize or choose depending on his personal choice and hardware of computer. And today's video is just about that. So what's up everybody? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and in today's video, we'll understand desktop environments of Linux. We'll also check out features of some of the popular desktop environments of Linux. And then we'll go to a live Linux machine and do a demo on how to install it on your Linux system. And also at the end, we'll see how to delete it if in future you decide to do so. All right, so let's begin today's video. Well, a desktop environment is actually the GUI part of an operating system. It is what makes your computer look beautiful. It consists of icons, your folders, the Windows Manager, uh, widgets, and functionalities like drag and drop features and etc. Um, in Windows, you have Aero Desktop Environment and Mac OS X call it Aqua. But in both these operating systems, the desktop environment comes installed by default and you do not have the option to change it uh, apart from having few control or few settings like increasing or decreasing the size of your folders, changing color of it. Uh, but Linux gives you the power to choose your own desktop environment. Now let's quickly take a look at some of the popular desktop environment. Now Linux initially started with CDE or common desktop environment, but it was a property software and had licensing and cost issue. Now this gave rise to the KDE project or the K desktop environment project started in 1995. The first version of KDE was released in 1998. Now the current version is KDE 5, which was released in the month of July last year. Now the main features of KDE is, uh, firstly, it is built on QD framework and it is highly customizable and has tons of features, sometimes so much that it gets complicated for a normal user and it is high on graphics. Hence, you require good hardware on your computer. Now the minimum system requirements um, for KDE desktop environment is it requires a RAM of 615 megabytes and a CPU or processor of one gigahertz. Now, another very popular desktop environment is the GNOME desktop environment, also stands for GNU Network Object Modeling Environment. Now, this project started in 1996. The current version is GNOME 3. Now, GNOME is built on GTK Toolkit and the main feature of Genome is it strives for simplification with finer details to essential features rather than adding tons of features. Now, the minimum system requirement for Genome 3 is it requires a RAM of 768 megabytes and a processor of 400 megahertz. Now, another very popular desktop environment is XFCE or XForms Common Environment. It started in 1996 with main focus on speed rather than looks. It's built on GTK plus toolkit, the same toolkit which is used to build genome desktop environment. Because it does not focus on looks, it is very light on your hardware and the minimum re system requirements is it requires a RAM of 192 megabytes and a processor of 300 megahertz. Now in 2006, another desktop environment, LXDE was released. LXDE stands for Lightweight X11 Desktop Environment. It is also built on GTK Plus Toolkit and it is another option for XFCE and it is lighter than even XFCE desktop environment. The minimum RAM required to run LXDE desktop environment is 128 megabytes and the processor speed of 266 megahertz will suffice. Now these were some of the popular and major desktop environment of Linux. Now there are hundreds of other desktop environments available in Linux. For example, you have Unity, which is a desktop environment for uh, Ubuntu operating system developed by Canonical. You have Mate, Cinnamon, tons of other. Let me quickly show you the looks of some of the popular desktop environment and then we'll go to a live Linux machine and do a live demo on how to install a desktop environment on your computer. All right. All 
All right, so here I am in my Kali Linux machine. Now, Kali Linux is a Debian-based distribution and it comes with Genome Desktop Environment by default. So let's try to install Cinnamon Desktop Environment on this machine, all right? So first up, open up the terminal. And now one important point to note here is that I'm going to use APT Package Manager to install Cinnamon as it is the default package manager in Kali Linux. Now if you're using any other distribution of Linux uh, that comes with different package manager, just make sure that you use your appropriate package manager there, all right? For a complete guide on package managers of Linux, uh, check out my previous video by clicking on this link. This link is also available in the description below. All right, let's begin the process. First up, type in apt get update. Now this will update your repos and fix if there's any problem or issues with your repos, all right? Now the next step is to check if the Cinnamon desktop environment is available in the Kali Linux repos. To do that, type in apt cache search cinnamon and press enter. Now there are three items listed. Uh, it's probably the first one, uh, which says innovative and comfortable desktop. Now to install Cinnamon, all you have to do is type in sudo apt get install Cinnamon and press enter. Now this will install Cinnamon on your computer. All right, so it's done. Now let's restart the computer, close this. and restart alright so the computer has restarted and here we are at the login screen now at the login screen instead of system default just choose cinnamon and then type in your login credentials Alright, so as you can see, we have successfully logged into our Kali Linux machine and now instead of Genome, it is running Cinnamon Desktop Environment and uh, you can go to the settings and change the settings that comes with the Cinnamon Desktop Environment. Alright, so this is how you install a desktop environment or have multiple desktop environment on your Linux computer. Now to remove a desktop environment from your computer is also very simple. You just have to log in to your computer using any other desktop environment than the one that you're trying to delete. So I'm going to use system default, which is the genome desktop environment and log into my machine. Open up the terminal and type in sudo apt get remove and the desktop environment that you want to remove. So in our case, it's cinnamon and press enter. Just say yes. Do you want to continue? Yes. All right, so it's done. Now let's restart the computer. All right, so the computer has restarted and as you can see, now we no longer have the option to boot to Cinnamon desktop environment since we have uninstalled or removed it from our computer all right so that was all regarding the desktop environment of linux thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video kindly press the like button and also remember to subscribe to this channel to get further updates on my videos if you have any comment suggestion or feedback please type that in in the comment box and thank you again and i'll see you next time